小丽，小丽，帮我找找奶奶。It is now helping me find someone who's my temporary standing grandma for demonstration purposes. With user data being put in, it can track where users are. It can also transport items or for emergency call and remote monitoring. Most older people want their children with them, but their children are often busy. We want to provide them personalized services through AI. This machine is telling me to turn off the stove. A robot reminded my mom to turn off the stove and search the whole house for her. She was very happy. They think that the machine is a bit stiff. I used to think robots were stiff and unemotional. With GPT technology adding emotions, I think it's wonderful. Some AI robots are helping older people exercise and recover from various illnesses. Well, assuming I'm a paralyzed old lady, now I'm able to stand up slowly. See the magic. Official data shows that about 45 million individuals above the age of 65 in China suffer from disabilities or semi-disabled. More than half require rehabilitation services. So I can practice to move around. This is our AI chip, artificial intelligence chip, plus our whole calculation. We apply AI technology for algorithms and control chips. For example, a healthy person needs 80 points to walk. A bedridden older person might have only 10 or 20 points. Our algorithm adds 60 points, so they can walk. These are AI equipment on display at the 10th China International Senior Services Expo in Beijing. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, individuals aged 60 and above will account for over 30 percent of China's total population by 2035. The State Information Center predicts that China's silver economy, which refers to the industries catering to the needs of the aging population, is expected to expand over four times by then. Zhu Zhu, CGTN, Beijing.